Hello everyone, it's Cisco Labs, and I'm back yet again playing Horizons 3. And in between episodes, I haven't done too much. A little bit of mining, a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of spreading my magic beads around. And uh, a little bit of farming. Nothing really big, nothing really special. Uh, I made a couple more pylons, I guess. And I processed a little more materials. Not too much. Just, uh, you know, getting stuff done. Anyway, uh, what I want to get to today, though. We're going to kind of get right to it. First thing I want to get to is new power source. So we're going to go here. And go here, and we're gonna break these. We don't need them. I don't want them. They can go away. Anyway, um, we're gonna get into the first power source, and then another one, and then kind of an automation of our planning, I guess. Food, stuff like that, jazz, uh, all that jazz. We're using industrial foregoing. We're gonna try out one of the industrial foregoing uh, power sources, though, and we're gonna get to it right away, because, well, this one is just plain overpowered because of another mod. So let's go to uh, petrified, petrified, petrified. There we go. Petrified fuel generator. Uh, this thing is going to be pretty insane. And I'll show you here in a second. I actually want to make two of these. So let's get them going. There we go. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of these casings today. So let's grab like, I don't know, like eight. There we go. I guess we'll just get them all done. Let's get seven done. Then I'm not sure exactly how many I need. So there we go. There's a petrified coal generator or petrified fuel generator. There's two of them. So we're just going to grab one of those. I'm going to throw it over here. And I'm going to kind of use that for our power setup. So there you go. That's going to give us power for the two little machines that we do have. Uh, of course, that's going to grow over time. It's just right now. We're not that far into it. Anyway, let's go here. I don't know where I'm getting stuff from. But anyway, let's grab the overpowered fuel. So let's go to chaos. Right here, chaos coal. Chaos coal is just cool. With chaos essence, you take eight, you get eight. And uh, it has a burn time of 6,400 as opposed to, you know, 1,600 for a piece of coal. Um, what is a block of coal? Is that like 32? No, it's not even that much, is it? Block of coal is 16,000? Yeah, yeah. A block of this, on the other hand, is 64,000. So it's actually four times the output of coal, um, which is pretty silly. Anyway, let's make a stack of it really quick. There we go. Then I want to make one block just to show you how silly this is. Anyway, let's go like this. Let's go like that. Uh, this machine here just takes, you know, burnable fuels, right? And uh, makes power. Um, you can see here 15 a tick for, say, a piece of oak plank and all kinds of different numbers there. Until you get into coal. Coal gives it 80 RF tick. This is going to give it 320. And this one, 3200 RF a tick. Just off, just like that. It burns for 50 seconds. And uh, that's pretty silly. I'm actually going to pause that because right now our power, the one thing I noticed about this generator, although it can produce, you know, 3,200 RF tick, that if the power has nowhere to go, it just wastes it. So I'm uh, going to have to come up with something, I guess, to maybe manage that, automatically turn it off. Maybe I really haven't thought about that yet. I just kind of found this and went, oh, wow, that's a lot of power. 3,200 RF tick for nothing because that... Chaos Essence is all over the place when you're mining. It's really not hard to find. And coal, once I have fortune, again, it'll be all over the place. Let's uh, throw that in there. Throw that in there. Uh, I do want that. So let's grab that. Okay. Let's get to the next part of what I want to get to. Probably need a couple torches. What is that? Oh, I did make this too. The refined Chaos Orb. It's just the upgraded one. Just takes enriched. Uh, yeah. And it only has 5% break chance. It holds a million. It seems to last quite a long time, actually. So just when you're flying around in jazz, you don't have to worry as much. So let's take a look at uh, industrial foregoing. So four. So I want to get to plant automation. So let's get to that. I guess the first thing we're going to need here is there's the planter and the sower. There's the sower. This one plants things. So let's grab some clay. Boom. It's kind of like the MFR one. I don't know if it works the same. I'm just going to assume it does. And... Uh, go from there if it doesn't work i'll have to move on anyway i'm gonna do that i know we're gonna have to break down some quartz too so i'm gonna tell that thing not to pull and grab some quartz blocks because i recognize that we were gonna need some boom let's do that put that in there and boom did i get any of that yet three that's exactly what i need fantastic let's go to the sewer there it is grab a flower pot we're good to go there. And maybe a couple pistons. One, two. And. Oh, I didn't get the gears. 
you know what, I know I'm going to need a bunch of those, so just be proactive about it. So anyway, that is the sower, so that is uh, pretty cool. That's just going to, like I said, plant things. Uh, the other one we need is called the Gatherer. They kind of change the names on uh, everything, just kind of confuse you. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Unlike MFR, everything's got a slightly different name, even though a lot of the machines seem to be the same. So, bam. So this is our plant gatherer. We have that. Uh, the plant gatherer has a byproduct when it's gathering plants. It produces sludge. You need to deal with that sludge? Because I don't know in this mod, because I haven't run into it yet. I don't know if it's either going to stop the machine or just slow it down. I think in Mine Factory Reloaded, it slowed the machine down to... It made it very, very slow when it got full of sludge. Anyway, we're going to use the... I think it's called the Refiner. Yes, the Sludge Refiner. Get to kind of deal with that. There we go. And just this will give us some outputs here. So if you go to Use on it, boom. It turns sludge, so a bucket of sludge into, you know, clay, blocks of clay, dirt, gravel, uh, the sand we can use... It's all sand, so it does have some, you know, useful stuff. And not too bad, but at the same time, we need to do setup for it, and we need to power it. The whole point of this power setup here, actually, is going to be to be self-containing and just give me food. Um, anyway, let's do that. And uh, what else do we need here? And learn the mod, of course. Let's go... What else do we need? We got that, we got that, we got that. I guess the next ones we are are going to kind of look at the uh, actual power we're going to use, which is going to be the bioreactor and the biogenerator. The bioreactor actually just makes biofuel uh, when it gets seeds. So if we go to here and go to use, you see here seeds turn into biofuel. The more amount, like larger amount of different amounts of seeds you use, the higher the efficiency, the more biofuel you'll get. I'm not too concerned about that. I just wanted to be able to keep up with all these machines and uh, kind of keep producing fuel. It says that the biofuel generator actually produces, I believe, 160 RF, and it's 640,000 RF per bucket, which I'm hoping is enough to kind of keep up with the cycle. Uh, but anyway, let's get to that. Which one's that? This is the bioreactor. I do need a uh, fermented spire dry, and I probably need more brick. So let's grab that. Probably grab that quartz too. There we go. Throw that in there. Boom. Bioreactor. And a biofuel generator. I do have blaze rods. They are actually coming from huh, this stuff here. It's it's just insane what you get. I, ooh, I'll keep the flower. There we go. If I get in the roots, I'll probably need that. Wool is always good. A book is always good. Like, string. Just so random. I, the loot table is massive for these things. Bam. Some of it is good, some of it is not. Like these panes of glass are a general pain in my life. Here we go. Get rid of that. Throw that in there. Oh, I got a cake apparently. Oh, and some iron. Okay, so I needed some pistons apparently. And I think a furnace. There we go. And a biofuel generator. There we go. I'm also going to need some mudden because I'm very hungry. And, uh, yeah. I think other than that, all we... Well, no, we still need to get to a couple more things, out, right? We're going to need uh, range upgrades, so let's get to those. Uh, my farm is set to... I have it a 9x9. Nine by, nine. Uh, by default, these machines will only do a 3x3, three three, so we are going to need to upgrade there. Um, yeah, this will make it... The 3 will make it so they're 9x9s uh, nine for the sower and the uh, gatherer. Uh, what else did we need here? Uh, drawer controller. There we go. Drawer controller shouldn't be too bad. Grab a couple torches. There we go. Do that. There we go. And... Nope. I need... Uh, I know I'm low on oak. So let's just craft that up beforehand. Bam. So we don't have to wait forever. Actually, let's make another stack. I am going to have to get back to tree soon. I haven't been bothering. Did I make those yet? Yes, I did. I was just making drawers. Come on, show me regular drawers. There we go. Let's make a bunch. I don't know if I need that many, but I'll grab what I got. There we go. Bam. So, I think we got everything except for ducks. So, I think I have some fluid ducks in my bag. I'll grab those. They were for the plastic setup. And uh, we're going to need some lead stones as well. So, let's grab some of those. Just boom. That'll be good. 
and then we'll need some item duct. I'll probably run with opegs because I don't want to have to make hardened glass, right? Yeah, these ones take hardened, right? Yeah, not going to do that right now. Let's make... That should be good. Okay, on top of that, a few servos. And that should be pretty much everything after that. Some nuggets. You never have enough nugs. There we go. That should handle that. Okay, let's head over here and try setting this up. I wasn't doing anything, was I? No, I was not. Okay. So, to set this up, uh, first off, the sower, well, the planter is basically what it is. But anyway, the sower can sit. If it is the same as MFR Reloaded, it should be able to sit down here under the water and plant everything. So that's kind of how we're going to do that. Uh, I need that dirt for a second. Boom. Oops. Fly back up. Let's go there. Then I guess we would need the plant gatherer. Plant gatherer should be able to sit here. Looks like it's the same. I'm not seeing the hole in the back, so I don't know if these are going to auto output like the MFR ones. Huh. Crop output? Nope. It's not changing anything. I was kind of hoping. There used to be a little dot here, and they would just kind of auto-shoot items into the world. But it doesn't seem like it's a thing. No, okay, we're going to take a look at the machine here. I'm just going to show you this real quick. Uh, you can click on this button here, and it'll show the working area, which means the range of the machine. You can see here it's a 3x3. I can grab one of these range add-ons, so throw it in there. You can see there, it's going to cover the entire 9x9, which is kind of what I'm going for. And I can do the same thing with this one. Bam, show range. And turn that one off. There we go. You can see the range on the other one. So that's pretty cool. And you can just, you know, you know, you know what area you're working with. There's no guesswork at all. Uh, before we even get this powered up, I'm going to get the sludge refiner here to deal with the sludge. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab some fluid duct. Get some piece here. And uh, grab a servo. Let's, let's do it this way. There we go. Throw that there. Put that there. And there. So this is going to pull the, the, the sludge out of it. We won't have to worry about it. We just need to power all these machines. So I'm going to do temporary power uh, with the uh, petrified fuel generator. Then we're going to switch over to the bioreactor. I just need one to kind of get it going. Oh, why are you going that way? Petrified fuel generator. Okay. That makes more sense. Let's do that. Ready a bunch of leadstone. And kind of just get this wired up, I guess. I'll put it up high so I don't have to worry about piping too much. Although this piping's going to probably get very messy very quick. Because I'm just figuring this stuff out. And I don't usually worry about piping, piping very much when I'm kind of doing, you know. Um, just trying to figure things out, right? So that should work there, right? Okay. Oops. Let's not do that. Yet. It may be something that I need, but not yet. Let's put like three in there for now. And that should start grabbing things right away. It is awesome. Okay. So that is harvesting things. Of course, the seeds are getting pulled out of the sower right now, right? Um, because they have no way. We're going to have to pipe the seeds back into it. But that is too big a deal. Probably going to use a drawer system for that. Uh, yeah, just kind of watch it here. I do want to grab some of these seeds, though, because we can actually filter this thing. And I'm going to get beetroot out of the cycle because I do not want to deal with beetroot. Let's go down here. Let's turn this one off. We're going to pause it. Uh, I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go like that. Yeah, what else we got here? What was the last one? Oh yeah, seeds. There we go. So that one's already maxed out. Um, basically what I did here, and if I lock this, it basically makes it so this will be, say, the, the top left part of the farm will be all carrots. The top middle will be carrots, and the top right will be carrots. So basically the whole top row is going to be carrots now. The middle row is going to be potatoes. And the butter will be, you know, just uh, wheat. And if you lock it, it'll always stay like that. So that's what I did there. And it should be good to go. I should be able to set that to, you know, just work now. It should start planting things, actually. Yes, it's planting stuff over there. It's planting, planting some wheat. And because of the size of our farm, each one of those blocks should be a 3x3. Three three. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to tell what's going to go where. That should be, yeah, that doesn't seem right, actually. Maybe I'm looking at the machine wrong? <laughs> we'll worry about it after. Anyway, 
I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Let's grab this here. Okay. I guess next we need to deal with the items. So let's go here. No, nope. I haven't actually made a shovel yet, have I? Probably should do that. So we can get through this stuff a little faster. Okay. Let's grab... I'm just thinking of how to do this, because I need to be able to pipe out his back here and not make a total mess. Uh, <laughs> which is could become a mess very quickly. Let's put, like, the controller here, I guess. And grab our drawers. Maybe run them like this, then I can run cable above it and below it. Maybe something like that. Oh, I guess I don't need that many drawers. I need enough for the two machines here, so the refiner. The sludge refiner and for the seeds and all the different kinds of uh, produce, I guess. This is all I really need. And this is going to get junked. So let's grab that. Boom. Throw you and uh, throw you. Is this out of power already? Maybe. Not quite. Okay. Kind of watching what it's doing here. Uh, we can actually speed up these crops. Actually, let's speed up these crops before we do anything. So I did recognize a way to do that too. So let's go here. Let's go to, I don't know why I cleared my bar. Let's go to, what's it called? They were called sprinklers. And I think they were from Cyclic. Yes. Let's try these puppies out. Boom. They look pretty easy to work with. So let's try them. Uh, we need bone blocks. I still have tons of bones from Astro Sorcery. Uh, altars. There we go. I'd like to make a couple of these. I'll start with about four or five I guess and kind of work from there let's do five uh, okay it's gonna do that uh, how many buckets do we have one gotta fix that there's our five we should be good to go there and I guess we need uh, at least one bucket for water let's go here let's grab a bucket Probably grab a couple. Then I don't have to think about it. There we go. And this first one, I guess we can just put right here. I just gotta shift right click it on there. It's gonna start spinning around. I think it's just gonna shoot water every now and again. Boop. There we go. Let's let that go. And I think these do speed them up, and I think they do stack. So let's kind of see how it goes. I am going to put a couple around here in no real sensical manner at all whatsoever. <laughs> Just try things out. There we go. It's going to keep them lined up, though. There we go. Because there'd be much better ways of doing this, I'm sure. Because I don't know the range on them or nothing. So I guess I'll be able to see if they work on the uh, Magic Beans, too, which it looks like it just did, actually, in that pulse there. There we go. There we go. There. And these things are super easy. I mean, they take no power. They don't seem to generate lag, which is a problem with the egg craft ones, right? These ones seem pretty tame, actually. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. Mostly because the egg craft ones go insane with the water particles for no apparent reason. Anyway. Looks like it's doing stuff. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Let's grab here, here, here. Let's get you out. I do need to get rid of all these beetroots. Nope. Oh, not my potatoes. I need my tasty potatoes. I really need to get the seeds backed up uh, in the machine down here, the sower. Once this is backed up, then we can kind of keep up with it. But until it's backed up, it's kind of a problem. Uh, because if I try to pull the seeds into the uh, bioreactor, then we're going to end up with no seeds inside the plant sower. So I'm just going to give it a little bit. We're going to grab some stuff here, though. And this may be that. Some more seeds. Set up some filtering here. So let's kind of do that. Maybe you here. I'm definitely going to need a key. So let's grab a key. Boom. Key. Drawer key. What do we need here? Oh, I definitely got one of those in my inventory, so we're good. And we'll need some nuggets. Boom. And there we go. Drawer key. Awesome. Let's get this locked, because that could become a mess as well. Door key. Bam. Doors are locked. Gonna grab this jazz. 
It looks like this is all stuff too. So let's get that in there and there'll be a couple more. There's going to be clay, a couple kinds of sand and things like that, but not that big deal. Apparently we've got red sand. That looks like everything so far. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is get these items uh, that are in here into the door system. So that's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So I guess we'll just pull them down here. There we go. I guess we could throw a servo on here. There we go. Bam. I may have to upgrade these servos later on, depending if they're too slow. And I need some kind of wrench, actually. Let's go grab a wrench. Boom. Uh, I don't know what one we can make. But funky locomotion one should work no problem, actually. Let's try that one. I just want to break the connections, uh, unneeded connections there. So that one and that one, not needed at all. And that should start automatically piping things in, which is what we want. I do need to get rid of those, though. And because they're locked, they can only let in the certain items, so I can filter them out as needed. What have we got here? We've got clay. So the clay was a new one. Let's throw that in there. There we go. And that one could just go in the controller. Okay. So, is this backed up yet? Well, of course it's not backed up. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, let's grab seeds, carrots, and potatoes. Everything should be pretty much backed up now after this, actually. I guess potatoes still have a little more to go, but that's not too bad. Do that, and carrots. There we go. So each slot holds 16. Uh, once they're all full, then I'll be able to pipe things over to the bioreactor without a fear of this going completely empty, which is kind of what I'm going for. Uh, I just need to just go a little longer, but uh, we can get the wiring in anyway. Let's get the bioreactor. So the next one would be the bioreactor, and uh, we just need a way to, I guess, actually it wouldn't be the bioreactor next. Next would actually be just the piping uh, back of seeds back into there. So let's do that. I'm just going to run those down here in the floor. Piping is going to be bad enough, so let's not add to it. There we go. And that petrified fuel generator will be coming out of there. It's just a matter of time. I guess we could do that. There we go. There we go. I guess we could just run that there. And once it's done, it's not done yet. Mm. Why are potatoes taking so long? Why? Oh, it must be out of fuel. I'm such a derp. Let's, uh, let's give it like, I don't know, like 10. There we go. I'm being awful stingy with this stuff. Anyway, that should start harvesting stuff. Yes. Because I really need those uh, potatoes to get backed up for this to work properly. There we go. Boom. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, potatoes. There we go. So close yet so far. Anyway, um, that works. Let's start piping items back into it, because piping items into it isn't going to hurt it. So let's do that. There, boom. And that should just keep the seeds coming in, right? So we should have a good amount of carrots there. I guess not. I guess we're waiting for them to grow. And uh, it's a thing. Anyway, let's do that. Boom. That should handle that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's get the wiring in for the bioreactor. So after, I want it to be further in the chain from the plant sower, just so the plant sower always, because that's kind of how the thermal pipe works. They'll kind of send it to the machine, you know what I mean? Prioritize the machine first in line before the next one in line. So if this one's further down the line, this one should get the seeds first, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna kind of do it like that. There and there. So in time, uh, we should start seeing seeds in there, but I'm in no big rush. And then we could just take the biofuel, throw that there. Um, then we just need to power both of these, I guess. Let's go here. And the piping's going to get real janky right here, but I'm not really concerned. Here we go. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, that one does not need to be there, so let's get rid of it. Here we go. And grab some lidstone. And that will work. So this should end up uh, totally powering the setup. So that's what I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, I have no torches down here. What am I doing? When you have night vision, 
Sometimes you forget about this stuff. It's actually it's pretty good that we haven't had any spawns down here yet. Let's go here. Although this island's been pretty safe since I lit it up. So the bioreactor is getting items. It's not totally backed up, though. See, that's a problem. That is a problem. Hmm. I may have to tweak this out at some point. Actually, once this gets all backed up, it's, I think this is going to get completely backed up and it's not going to be an issue. Because um, I think we're going to end up producing food faster than uh, we can go through it, right? We did. Speed that up. There we go. There we go. We're producing biofuel now. We're producing power. I want to see if I can actually pull this out now, though, and see if it actually keeps up with the system. I'm hoping that it will. Um, do we have anything else to filter here? I need one of the regular actual blocks of clay. I haven't had a chance to filter one of those yet. Don't know if I have enough drawers. I think we have enough drawers here. Uh, let's put that. Anything weird there? Doesn't look like it. Um... But yeah, seems to be working, <laughs> in theory. Yeah, I just need to kind of watch it. This is uh, getting backed up. This is starting to get backed up too, which is really good. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to work out. I think this is going to actually work fine, which is kind of awesome. Uh, I mean, the piping's utterly horrible, but let's not mind that, right? I think I could speed this up massively uh, with, the, no, with uh, more sprinklers, but uh, it is working. I don't know. How, how are you out of seeds? There's no way you're out of carrot seeds. You're just being lazy. Plant stuff. Anyway, it looks like looks pretty good though. So yeah, functioning workout. Well, you know, fu mm. functioning setup that works for you know decently and it's self-contained at least, right? And that's what I was really going for. The only thing that's gonna stop it now actually is getting totally backed up on items here, but I think it would actually take a while. So I'm not really that concerned. And I can come here and I can eat that and eat that. Oh, I never filtered wheat. <laughs> Definitely one I'm going to have to filter. Let's get to that. Bam. And the last one should be just clay blocks, hopefully. I think. There might be one more. And okay, I think I got everything filtered now. I think there was eight of them. Eight items. And I think I got them all. Let's see here. Sludge refiner. Go to use. So four. Eight. Oh, no. There's one more. What is the last one? Puzzle maybe? Yes, I don't have puzzle yet. So I'm gonna have to make one more slot for a drawer, but that's fine. That'll be the last item there. Once it finally comes in. I should probably lock that though before. What? <laughs> what? Did that pull my up no my upgrade's still here? I think that's a glitch. Because there's actually nothing in the drawer. <laughs> that's actually weird. It didn't crash me, and that's a good sign. Anyway, let's get this broken. There we go. And uh, grab that. Go there. I'll throw that there. And unlock that puppy. There we go. That'll fix that. There we go. I might have to report that bug. There we go. But uh, once I have pods, this will be... Ooh. Lock. Uh, <laughs> this will be uh, completely and utterly uh, filtered. I won't have to worry about it anymore. And this seems to be completely keeping up. It's actually getting backed up in power. Uh, this one isn't producing anything anymore. So I can actually pull that out of there. So this is actually a self-contained system now. And uh, yeah, it'll keep me in <laughs> potatoes. Actually, it's potato and a steak. Stick in this. Potato and a stick. There we go. There's my food for the most of the pack. I just bake some potatoes, throw some sticks on it, and you even get your stick back. It's a bonus, right? But it is uh, pretty good food and uh, probably what I'll go with for the most part. But we'll also have car carrots and wheat or anything else that we need. So... That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. It was neat to uh, finally mess around with industrial for going. Because the machines, they've changed a bit, but not a ton. But you can see here, the fluid now is actually backed up. So this is going to get completely backed up uh, with carrots and potato and seeds, which I'm completely fine with because it means I never have to worry about it, right? So that is pretty cool. Um, and if I did a little bigger farm, I guess I could do more of these uh, biofuel generators. But I kind of only just want to use this power source to kind of power the system. And uh, it's self-contained. So that is that. Okay, just sitting here, going through my loots. <laughs> seeing the insane amount of random things I'm getting. Uh, I just got an enderpearl. These things could drop enderpearl. Wow. Okay, because enderpearls are something I'm dying for. Jack-o'-lanterns. I just got a comparator a couple minutes ago. Oh, wow, the loot you can get out of these things are just utterly ridiculous. 
I want to automate it, but at the same time, it's going to be such a mess to automate. It's the, it's, it's the only reason that it's really stopping me. Um, the sorting. Just think of the sorting on this. I mean... Eh? <laughs> I guess I might... I guess I kind of sort it so it only takes what I want. But even when you do it like that, it, it, it's, it's messy. It's messy. Like, even bricks, gold, flower pots, bottles of enchanting. It's just, it just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. The blaze rods, fire charges. Wow. Those things just drop the world, it seems. I can't see these ever being actually enabled in a pack that cares about balance because, yeah, they're kind of silly. Anyway. And okay, I'm just going to wrap this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello, that'd be fantastic. I also have a Patreon. I also have a Patreon server now actually running the Direwolf 20 pack. So yeah, you can check that out. See if that's something that you're into. You want to support me, help me make videos, make it moving forward. That'd be fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.